Hi everybody, Lulu here. Happy Thanksgiving. Today we are making pies and we are going to start with a pumpkin chiffon pie. Pumpkin chiffon is a lighter version of a regular pie, which is really refreshing after you've had a really heavy Thanksgiving meal. So here's what you need. You need some pureed pumpkin. You need some pre-done pie crust, which we'll start making first. Some brown sugar, light or dark. Pumpkin pie spice. Knox gelatin, this is really important. You're gonna need some whole eggs because we're gonna use the yolks and the whites and then some whole milk. And don't forget your white sugar for when you're going to beat this in with your egg whites. It's time to roll out your pie crusts. I prefer the pre-done store-bought, but you still need to roll them out because they're really thick. You're gonna need a little flour. Go ahead and sprinkle that on your workspace. These should be thawed out, but they shouldn't be too, uh, too thawed out. You want them to be just cold enough so that you can roll. And then get some type of a, um, a rolling pin, some people prefer wood, some people prefer um, a stone, and then just gently start to push out your pie crust. Thin it out just a little bit, and then we're gonna put it on the pie plate. Now you're gonna take your pie plate, and you want to fold your pie crust into a half, and then into a fourth, and it looks like a pizza now. You're just gonna pick it right up and transfer that on to your pie plate and unfold it. This is the easiest way that I found to get the pie crust into the pie plate. And now we're gonna cut a little bit. Make sure it goes down evenly. Look at how much extra pie crust there is. This is why I always roll it out because it gets really thick. Okay, there's our oven preheating. All right, now you're gonna take a knife and just go around the outside with your excess pie crust that you're not gonna be using. And then we're gonna go ahead and flute the edges. I'm going around the outside of the pie crust now and I'm just pinching the edges. This will help me get that cute little crust that everyone likes. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be up and out of the way, not drooping over the edge. Sometimes you get a little extra, just rip it off with your hands, no big deal. And keep going. Okay, this is a really good step for your pie crust. Take a fork and some warm water, and then you just wanna go around the bottom of your pie crust to help the pie crust aerate through the baking process so you don't get bubbles. Do not skip this step. It's really important. A Little bit of warm water, and then you're gonna get the sides as well. And then on the sides, doesn't have to be perfect. Just gotta make sure we don't have a bubbly crust. Okay, so now we get to bake the crusts. Remember, this is a cold pie, so we wanna bake the crusts first, and then we're going to make the pumpkin pie filling, which is a separate process. So here are my crusts. Just to do some uh, fun baking testing, today we're gonna to do this in two different ways to hold the crust down. So first I'm gonna take some parchment paper in this one, and I'm going to use just some plain white rice. Don't use expensive white rice because this is going to end up going in the oven. What this will do is prevent the uh, crust from bubbling up and just kind of rub it around. So there's that. And then I have these handy dandy pie weights and that we are gonna put in the second one. We'll do the same thing. And then last but not least, remember to cover your pie crust edges because if you don't, they will burn if you have a hot oven like mine. <laughs> And then we're gonna put these in the oven at 450 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. It's time to put our pie crust in the oven. Make sure you have a middle of the oven grate that you're using, and then make sure you disperse these evenly on the rack, 10 to 12 minutes. The time has come to make the inside of the pumpkin chiffon pie. We're gonna start with adding, now I doubled the recipe, so we have about one and a half cups of brown sugar that will come out of this. There we go. Wanna make sure you get that easily to mix. Then I'm taking my Knox gelatin. This is really important. You cannot skip this step. You're gonna mix that in as well. Vegans and vegetarians look away now. Then I have about three and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice and two teaspoons of salt. Remember, we wanna mix our dry first, so go ahead and make sure this is mixed. Now it's time to separate your yolks from your whites. 
Uh, remember, we are going to be cooking with the yolks and making the chiffon with the whites. So you really have to be diligent about separating these out. I know that there's these fancy things out there where you can separate out your yolks from your whites, but this is my plan of attack. This is what I've done for years. So far it works pretty good. I need six of these, as I mentioned, because I'm doubling the recipe. And it's nice because it just kind of slides through your fingers. Just kind of go back and forth real gently. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the egg whites out in a separate bowl because we're gonna be using these later for the chiffon. So just let them be here. If you aren't gonna use them right away, put them back in your fridge. It's time to cook the filling. I'm gonna take uh, the brown mixture, brown sugar and uh, gelatin mixture. I'm gonna put that right in the pan. Then I'm gonna take my egg yolks. I'm gonna put that in there too. Then I'm gonna take my milk, pour that in. All together now, I'm gonna stir this up get this going on the heat and I'm going to bring this to a boil while I'm mixing it all together. Remember, you don't want to whip your eggs. You don't want, you don't want curdled egg in this, but you do want it mixed very well. Bring it to a boil. And then once it's been boiling for about a minute, we're going to take it off the heat and mix in our pumpkin. All right, everybody, this just came to a boil. So I'm still stirring. And now is the time I'm going to go ahead and add in my pureed pumpkin. And then we're gonna mix all this together and let this cool. You wanna make sure it's completely cool because then we're gonna fold in the chiffon. Get this in there while it's still warm. Stir, stir, stir. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. The time has come. We are going to make our chiffon for the pumpkin chiffon pie. Uh, here's the pumpkin. It's fully cooled. You want to make sure that this is cold. And then we've let our egg whites come to room temperature. We're going to go ahead and mix these in with the sugar. And then we're going to beat until this comes to a white stiff peak. So that's what you want. Go ahead and add your sugar. I like to use a hand mixer. You could use a, a KitchenAid if you want. And here we go. There. After some time, <laughs> I've actually taken all of the egg whites and the sugar and whipped them. See these stiff peaks on the end? Best way to test if it's done is if it stands straight up when you pull out your mixer. Now we're going to take our chiffon and fold it into the pumpkin mixture. Remember, this is cold now, and this is also cold. You have to be gentle folding it in. So just do a little bit at a time. Okay. You don't want to over mix it. You just want to fold it in just like that. And this is going to make the pumpkin so light and airy. It's going to have this delicious airy texture. Okay. We're going to put the last little bit in here, of all the pumpkin goodness, and then we're going to keep folding. Look at that. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this delicious, voluminous mixture and load in our pies. Light and airy. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so good. And then we're gonna go ahead and refrigerate these for at least two hours. Overnight is preferred and they will be ready to eat and serve at your holiday party. Our pumpkin pies are ready and they will go in the fridge now. I'm gonna taste the inside of the pumpkin pie, but oh my God, this is so good and light and airy. You will wanna make this. For more recipes, follow me on my blog at lulusjubilee.com where life is best celebrated.